Time to get a haircut. Look at nice. Bye. <laughs> Dude, I went to get coffee and the baristas got locked out. The baristas literally told me that it got locked out. No coffee in the morning. Everything is going to crumble. It's all over. How can I continue? Uh, first world problems. I'm a little late. Ugh. I hate when I'm a little late. Not everyone's gonna stare at me when I walk in. It's all your fault, coffee shop. It's because I didn't have my coffee. This is me eating super fast. What are you supposed to do and all that stuff? Cool little bridge. It's very nice here. Really, really beautiful day. There's this cool thing here at the campus, this uh, journey to the cross hike slash walk. And it's called the journey to the cross because as you go on this kind of walk and hike, you kind of make these little stops and then you get to kind of see different art pieces of Jesus' journey to the cross. As you stop by each piece, you can sit, flex there a little bit. coffee shop in I think I'm in San Juan Capistrano. I looked up a coffee shop on Yelp and I saw the name of this coffee shop and I had to come here. I was like this name is so dope I gotta try it and this place has five stars on Yelp which is crazy so let's check out this guy's coffee. This is it let me show you the name of this guy's coffee shop. I saw the name of your coffee shop on Yelp and I said I had to come here. Oh, I had cool. to come try this out. Is your name Tim as well? No, no. It's just, I saw the name and I was like, that is such a dope name for a coffee shop. I oh, have to nice. try it. Tim is hooking, up, hooking me up with some sample, a free sample of coffee. They use coffee from Seattle. I'm from Seattle, by the way. Oh, really? That's cool. So my brother, I went to Niguel Hills Middle School. Okay. My brother went to um, Dana High and then after that he went to Laguna Hills High School. Okay. Yeah, but I was about to go to Aliso and then we moved. Oh. <laughs> Oat milk latte. Yo, Tim is making great coffee. Oat milk latte. I'm here in San Juan Capistrano. Even though it says that right there, the shop is called Tim is making great coffee. I just talked to Tim for like 20 minutes. This guy is the nicest barista slash coffee owner I've ever met, like seriously, the nicest. Genuine, great customer service, answered questions. He just, a very, very nice guy. You guys should come here. He uh, knows a lot about coffee. Check this place out. Tim is making great coffee. No, it's not sponsored. I'm gonna sit on this weird Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings-esque throne chair seat. I don't know. To be honest, what I'm really freaked out about is seriously a snake coming through one of these holes. Like no joke, where I'm at, there's like snakes that roam around here. I wanna sit here on this wooden Game of Thrones type of chair and share with you my closing thoughts. I'm at this training session and something was said that's really resonating in my heart and that is the church is a hospital not a hotel. And when he said that it hit me really hard. Many people think that the church is like a hotel. You kind of come in, you expect to be served, you're looking for a specific type of room, a suite, special amenities and you're there to check in and check out. On the other hand a hospital is a place where yes you're also going to be served because you're sick and we should be thinking like that. 
The church is like a hospital there to serve the sick, help the sick, help the sick become better. Here is something else that makes the hospital illustration become a little bit more powerful. What if the church was like a hospital, but you're going there not only because you're trying to find medicine, you're trying to get healed from a sickness, but what if you go there also to help others who are sick? I know that's not what a traditional hospital is like. That's not how a hospital functions. That's where the church takes over. The church is like a hospital. You're there to help the sick. You're there for the sick. But the church is like a hospital, but it's also like a family. The reason why you want to come to church and think about how you can also help others who are sick is because that's how a family really functions. You don't come to a real family and just expect everything is catered for you. You don't come and think about me first. You don't come thinking that's all about you being served. But in a real family, yes, you're going there to find support. Yes, a family is there to help you and walk with you in life. But a real church family will also help each other. And that's where that organic love, that organic relationship starts to happen. So I hope for all of you who are at a church, you're not thinking the church is like a hotel and you don't come to church just thinking about you. How am I going to be served? But I challenge you to also go and think about how you're going to serve others. Whether you're in a church or not, any type of community or club, think about how you can also assist others in life. And the reason why you want to do that is because that's how your family, your group is going to bond much, much deeper. You'll become closer together because you're not just thinking about you anymore, but you're thinking about others as well. Not every church is good at that. Not every church is perfect. I know I need to do a better job at that as well. But let's all do that together because the more people at a church, the more people in your group begin to think about others and not just yourself, the more loving one another happens, the more probability that everyone will be cared for. And now you got a family that's thinking about everyone. So I hope you can apply that in life. Those are my closing thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you can support my channel, please subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate it. Here is the PJS question of the day. What are some different ways you like to help others in your church or in your circle of friends or in your community group? Answer that question down below. Tell me some different ways that you like to help others, assist others, just love on others, and let's learn from each other. All right, I'm gonna get out of here before a snake comes. I hope you keep on following this channel, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.